Today we're going to be installing our BC Racing coilovers on the Bozoku Cressida. Uh, we're hoping to get at least the rears done and then take apart the front and see what we have to do for those. See, that's like where it should be sitting. <laughs> Thing and we stick it in there. All right. Someone did say to um, they wanted uh, to cut out that bump stop or something. Essential or preference? Mm -hmm. Actually, so imagine it's probably not going to compress much more than that. We really don't want this thing to be on the ground, so it's pretty much higher than it is was before, which is okay with us. Yeah, but this thing has the potential. These coils, these are again the uh, I got the extreme low version just because I figured uh, someone told me in the front that uh, most of the time they don't go low enough, so I figured I'd just get the extreme low. Uh, in the rear, obviously, we were already done so. <laughs> style wheel yeah that's this spare yeah it's because this happened on the highway when I was driving it home oh man yeah so it was smoking because it was this side and the exhaust is on this side uh, it started smoking and I was behind it in uh, my Corvette and I was just like well there goes the head gasket. I just thought it was smoking because the coolant, whatever mm. was coming out of right here where the exhaust the tire where the exhaust is. I just thought I was like, well, there goes that. We're swapping it, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I bought the car for like 400 bucks. I didn't really care. I think I actually bought it for 600. They, I, I tried to lowball them for 400, but they wouldn't take it. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. It's, I've told this story a couple of times, but I'll just put this in there because I think it's kind of funny. And I'm sure there's some of you who haven't heard it, but yeah. We were just driving, and my buddy was driving this car home. The tire just started smoking, and then, like, he just started, like, swerving like crazy. I was like, oh, my God, like, what the hell is going on? And good thing, they, they had the factory Toyota tire changing kit and jack and everything. If we wouldn't have had that, we would have been on the side of the road for, like, 
at least a couple hours waiting for a triple A or whatever. But if I did this in like, you know, five minutes, drove the rest of the way home, and I was good. Where were you coming from? Uh, like two and a half, like two hours away from my house. Oh. We were way inland, California. Was this like happened when you bought it? Yeah, it was oh. when I bought it. Jeez. My friend was driving me home and I was driving behind him. Yeah, we were going like 85 on the highway. Jesus. And just started swerving back and forth. That was really funny. For me. After, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> and everything was like, okay. But at first I was like, oh my God, because he's not a car person. Oh. And that's the biggest thing. He's, he's yeah. not a car person. And so like reacting to like Hectedness. weird stuff going on in the car is like, yeah. Very nice. Oh, yeah. I'm, Quite impressed. It's higher than the front is right now, which is perfect because I want to have the front a little bit higher than it is now. All right, so now that we're done and happy with the way the rear is sitting for now, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start taking apart the front. I know we're not gonna get it completed and that's just because we are gonna have to weld part of it. I don't know exactly what we're gonna have to take a look at it again once we pull it apart. So we're gonna start jacking it up, take out the wheels and just pull it all apart. Uh, this suspension is a little bit different than uh, what I'm used to. so. Hope you guys will be able to kind of check it out and see what I'm talking about. If, if any of the tools See, here on four, this thing will fucking take down the Sears Tower. <laughs> like nothing, dude. That thing's so whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would have had that thing that day. got both the front suspension out and I'm going to kind of show you what's up and why you have to weld it and kind of 
what we're going to have to do, and, and then, you know, from there, that's going to be it. So, uh, pretty much, this is the coil overs, and essentially what has to happen is you have to cut the shock body on the factory strut, and then from there, you actually sleeve it in there. So I think you leave a little bit of material, just so that way it's just stronger. And then uh, some people will say you can kind of adjust the height with these things in there. Uh, most people that I've heard from, they say just dump it all the way down until you get to here and then just beat it between there and here. And so they do leave this uh, unpainted for you. Uh, obviously when you are done, you're probably gonna wanna paint this. I'm not sure if it's uh, stainless or what. Um, but essentially, um, I'm gonna take this stuff home. I'm gonna take these two home and then I'm gonna take the bottom of these off and then take these home as well. And then that way, either I can weld them up myself or a buddy of mine can weld these up for me. So once again, just a little quick explanation. Essentially, we're gonna be cutting off here and then all this is gonna be thrown away. And then you sleeve this onto there, you grind all this down and then you put a nice fat bead all the way around there. And that's the bottom of your coilover. That's what we're gonna call it for today. We're done with the rears. We have yet to finish the fronts, but as soon as we get those installed, our wheels and tires are ready. They're gonna be installed tomorrow. We're gonna to be able to put them on as soon as we get our lug nuts. That means fender flares. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Peace out.